Building a model railroad isn't just about driving the trains. It's also about putting track down, repairing things, and keeping everything in an operating condition. One of the problems that I had after I got my new diesel Norfolk Southern locomotive was that I could not get it across one of my switches. The reason was that switch was out of balance. It was uneven. So I've spent the last couple of days leveling that switch and I'm going to show you the results coming up right away. Hi, I'm Owen and I'm continuing to build, expand and improve my Lionel O-Gage Model Railroad. This is primarily to run my Polar Express trains, but I recently bought a Norfolk Southern diesel locomotive and a set of gondola cars that go with it. In addition to that, I bought a caboose, Norfolk Southern caboose, that has a smoke unit in it. So I'm able to run with a smoking engine and a smoking caboose. So we're going to go ahead and see whether or not my repairs have been functional and have worked. The first thing we're going to do is take a look at the track now that it's been leveled through the switch and see what's different about it. Leveling the track required the use of 3 8 inch plywood and 1 16 inch basswood hobby sheets. This is what it looks like in place. Right there, that's a little sheet of 3 8 inch plywood that goes across. And then if we go over this way, you can see where I've put another layer of that 3 8 inch plywood under the track. Finally, going a little bit further down, in order to keep this joint between three sections of flat, fast track even, I put down a double layer of 1 16 inch basswood. Let's go across to the other side of the switch and see what that required. First, I've got a little strip of 3 8 inch plywood that goes under the track right there. I put this in a position where there's a screw coming down through the track to hold it down. Next you can see where I had to double up the 3 8 inch plywood in order to get it thick enough to get that section level. And then behind that I've got another section, uh, just a strip of the 3 8 inch plywood that runs underneath there and levels that. So it took quite a bit of wood in order to get this all leveled. The wood doesn't look very good right now. I'll be painting that and once I've painted it it'll essentially disappear. Now to cut this I had to use a scroll saw that would allow me to follow the curves of the track approximately, not exactly but approximately, in order to get that leveled out. The part of the switch that goes off to the left there and then goes down to the grade that runs down to tracks one and two on the lower level that was the most out of kilter and it took a lot of building up to get that level. Once I did that a couple of things happened for me. One is the switch control works much better. Throwing the electric switch control before, the remote control for that switch before, would sometimes cause the switch to throw and sometimes it didn't. Now that I've got that leveled it throws much more evenly. The other thing was that the train now is able to navigate through the switch in either direction, either going down the grade or going around the track without any difficulty. I usually take it pretty slow at the switch in any case, but it does the navigation without any difficulty. Now let's go ahead and put the train on, turn the trains on and run that train down and see what it looks like as it goes through the switch compared to the derailment that happened every time I tried to go through the switch before. The first thing that happens when you connect an engine to the Lion Chief app is that it sounds a whistle or a horn. There, that's the diesel horn, so we know the diesel locomotive is now connected. Let's get it going, run it around the track, and see how it goes. I'm taking it a little bit slow. I'm not a real fan of high-speed operations and by taking it slow I'm able to keep much better control of the locomotive and the entire train. I'm going to slow down as I start approaching the switch to make sure that I'm able to navigate it successfully. I just don't want to try to test my 
locomotive by trying to run it too rapidly through there. So here we come and we're coming through the switch and it is successfully navigating it. Yes, I've got the engine for the first time. This locomotive is able to go around that switch without derailing. The gondola cars come next and bringing up the rear is my smoking caboose. So we're going to let that run and go on through the switch. Everything came through that switch without a derailment. That is a success story. We'll let it go a little bit further and I want to see if I can get it to go up and down the grade as well. But I need to clear the other Milwaukee Road locomotive off the bridge in order to do that, off the crossover bridge. So I got to have enough room. That should be about right. Let me see if I can get the Milwaukee Road locomotive to come off the crossover bridge successfully. done that successfully. You can see the locomotive is smoking as well as the caboose. As it comes through here, we'll slow her down, and take it slow through the switch, and it is successfully navigating. We're through the switch with the locomotive, gondola cars are following, and finally the smoking caboose is bringing up the rear. We pan around and we'll get a good look at the locomotive as it goes down and makes its connection with track number two at the bottom. This locomotive uh, really holds its speed well. Uh, it, I'm uh, really pleased with the fact that when it's going down a grade, it doesn't start to be a runaway locomotive. The old Lion Chief, kind of the first generation Lion Chiefs, would in fact become a runaway train going down a grade. This does not. There, I've got the whole entire train through the switch and now it's on track two. We're going to back it up all the way to the upper level again. Track number three. Let's see if we can get her going. Again, I'm going to not go real fast through that switch, but once I start to get around that switch and coming up the grade, I do need to get some speed on it in order to be able to have it successfully navigate the grade. It just can't be stalling out on me as it's going through that process. And here we come, the locomotive, the train, it's all going through the switch. I'm back up onto track number three, the upper level track, and a successful maneuver. That was great. Uh, that was a big improvement over where I've been up till now. Let me throw the switches. I'm going to first put the lift bridge back down and then we'll back the Milwaukee Road steam locomotive, Hudson locomotive, back onto the bridge and out of the way of the main line of track number three. Now, we think we're in the right position, and we're going to have to see whether or not that will back up successfully. I didn't change the switch on there because I wasn't going to do anything with it, but let me see what happens when we try to back it up. Got a lot of lights flashing there, showing a kind of a problem with electrical continuity in that caboose. I'm not sure why that's her occurring, but it's something I got to be aware of. I'll try cleaning the wheels and contacts again and see if that makes a difference. Now we're all the way back onto the switch, so we're done there. And we're going to throw the switches. Yep. So we've thrown the switches, we've got that in the right position. 
and we've got the other switches in the right position. Let's see if we can go forward. Here comes our diesel Norfolk Southern diesel locomotive. You notice when the whistle or the horns are blown, the two lights in the front flash for a few seconds, kind of like a warning light. As it comes across, I think you'll be able to see the smoke coming out of the diesel. Uh, it's a diesel, not a steam locomotive, so it's not like the clouds of smoke you get out of steam, but it is, a, is smoking. And as we come across, we're going to see that it came through the switch just fine, and the smoking caboose is doing its thing at the end of the train. Uh, I think that's a successful maneuver. I'm uh, pretty pleased with that. I could not get through that switch before without derailing. Now I was able to go not only through that switch, but go down the grade to the lower level, come back up again. I think that uh, counts as a big success. Well, we successfully repaired the switch and leveled the track, so we've eliminated the derailments that we were experiencing with the diesel locomotive. If you enjoy seeing the construction of a model railroad, repairs, maintenance, and so forth, you might want to consider subscribing to this channel. In addition to doing new product reviews, which we are, are a frequent occurrence, we also continue to build, improve, and expand the model railroad. So click the thumbs up down below, like this video, share it on social media or with anyone else you know that might enjoy model railroading, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.